how to create a journal using Canva for the actual Amazon. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you what we can do. So Canva is an amazing place to start designing almost everything and totally for free. Of course, there are a few elements that you want to use if you have Canva Pro or if you want to have those elements, you want to have Canva Pro. That's why I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can have your Canva totally for free for the next 30 days without having to pay absolutely anything. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. If you don't know what this actually Amazon Kindle is, well, this is an ebook where you can just buy some different ebooks uh, and you can use them to see those into Kindle. So the amazing part is that now we can be able to self-publish ebooks totally for free. So how does this actually work? All right, so as you can see, I'm into kdp.amazon.com. If you have already a Amazon account, what you want to do is to sign in. And here, what you want to do is to start to create your own account in order to start selling some direct publishing Kindle. And the very amazing part of this is that we don't have to spend absolutely anything because we just want to make the design and the design is totally for free into Canva. So first of all, I'm gonna go into kdp.amazon.com and I want to go into sign in with my Amazon account. So now as you can see, we are now into the setup. Into the setup, it's just really easy to set up your actual stuff. We just need to provide a all of the information as you can. And here we can just create, manage and publish. So if I hit into the option that says create, here we can start to create our very first digital product. So here I want to look out for the actual Kindle ebook, which is actually this one. I'm gonna type create ebook. There we go. So it's going to be popping up all the new elements so I can start working here into the KDP. As you can see, it's going to be asking me for the language, the book title, the series, if there's a series part of series, uh, the edition number, the author, the contributors, the description, the publishing rights, and much more. So we're going to be filling that later. We want to focus actually into how, how we can start a actual journal. So what I want to do is to go back into Canva. Now that we are here into Canva, what you want to do is to look out for the amazing tool called the template. Now into the template, if I locate them above the projects and below the home, here is template. And what I want to do is to look out for Amazon and I want to look out for journal. These are a keywords that are going to be helping me to look out for the most uh, templates, the best templates that I can start to use them for my actual journal. So for example, here's a journal, a uh, school journal, and much more. So as you can see, it says notebook templates. I'm going to scroll a little bit down. Notebook cover templates. So I think that this one can be really useful for us. We have the journal templates. So here I want to look out for, so let's say for example, this one that says gratitude. And if you like the actual uh, template, you want to choose the option that says customize this template. And there we go. So now we can get started here into our actual document. So what I want to do is to change the actual title. Let's say for example, instead of gratitude, I want to double click. And as you can see into the upper side, these tools are gonna be helping me to edit my element. So I'm gonna first change the actual text. I'm gonna go for journal and I'm gonna just close the mouse there. So if I make this a little bit more like this, it's gonna be added text by text. So I want to locate this as it was before, like that. And as you can see, we do have the guidelines that are gonna be helping me to make this a little bit more with the symmetric stuff. So there we go. Now if I go into add page, I can go into design. And here to design, if I choose the actual design that I just selected, for example, the all results, I can start by creating an actual uh, journal with my notebook template, for example, this one. Add as a new page. Here is my actual journal. And instead of choosing the option that says journal, I want to delete all of these elements. Or I can choose another template if I don't want to see this. And there we have it. So I'm gonna choose this five minutes journaling and I'm gonna change the actual text like this. And I'm going to make this a little bit more smaller. There we go. So lastly, guys, there, as you can see, there's an element here of a plant. So I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to delete it. I want to look for something that's more accurate of my actual hardwood cover. So I'm going to go into elements. Now here into elements, uh, what I want to do is to look out for the actual keyword of my document of the design that I'm just creating. In my case, I want to look out for some peas or I don't know, maybe I'm going to type just peas. So as you can see, there's actually a lot, really, really a lot of tools. So I'm gonna look out for, let's say this one. So I clicked there and what I want to do is to 
to extract them and drop where we actually were uh, leave this. So I think that I do have an idea. I want to choose actually this element to input that in here. So I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to choose this element. I'm going to make this a little bit more big enough. And then later, I'm going to go into the right click. I'm going to send this to the back. And I'm going to change the transparency up to like 30%. So we have more stylized here our journal, right? So since this is a journal, I want to duplicate this page. There we go. So instead of five minute journaling, I'm going to change that for 10 minute journaling. And after that, I'm going to go into this part, which is grid view. And as you can see, there's all of my document. So what I want to do, let's say that I want to choose all of this element. And what I want to do is to copy and paste so I can see more elements of my journal. So now as you can see, I now have all my document already been ready. So what is left to be done? I'm going to go here into Amazon KDP. As you can see, we I want to scroll all our way down. So now as you can see, it's going to be asking for our KDP content guidelines and we can upload a KPF file or a duct file to contain the interior content for our Kindle book. So if you're not really sure how you can import this, what I can strongly suggest to you is to choose the option you can use Kindle Create to transform your manuscript with professional book themes, images, and table content. Dialogue for version totally for free. So after you choose that, let's say for example, I'm gonna type the upload ebook manuscript. And of course you want to make sure that you want to download out the very first page, which is only this one. I want to download out this as a JPG file so I can use this for my actual cover of my document. After you import all your information, I'm going to hit into saved and continue. And lastly, we need to provide, of course, the actual price of our element. And lastly, guys, you can see that we are now into the actual last section where we can just set up our pricing. So here, what I want to do is to choose all the territories if you wanted to. You want to choose your primary marketplace. And here what I want to do is to list my price of my item, let's say for example, $3. And this is the amount of money I'm going to be getting each time I sell an item. For example, here's like $1, just $1. If you want to have more, um, I can totally suggest you to update your budget. But in my case, I think we're actually good to go. After that, hit into publish your Kindle ebook and the savings should be added right away. With that being said, guys, this is how we can start to submit our Kindle ebook. We just need to wait till the next 72 hours for the title to be available for the purchase into Amazon and we are actually good to go. So hopefully, guys, this was a very useful video. This was, this was actually really, really simple to use, but hopefully, guys, it can be helping you into the future. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Have fun with the Canva. Have fun with your Kindle, ebook, direct publishing. And well, guys, I'll see you next time.